All right, what about now? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, we good, we good, we good, we good. Can you guys hear me? All right, let's go. No, there's got to be something. Ivan, right, go to his channel then, bro. You got to be on here. All right, what about now? Yeah, we good. All right. All right, let's do this. Your haircut's my feedback. Let's get it in. My bad, guys. I am not perfect. That's a beautiful thing, I think, about me is that I'm not perfect. I, and I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna make mistakes. It is what it is. Some of you guys worry too much about not making mistakes, so you haven't started your channel. Let's do this. You ready? So first cut, right off the bat, is ASAP cuts with this taper. You guys are more than welcome to, uh, to rate these haircuts. Um, one through ten, like we always do. So, uh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? This is a low taper. This is a low taper, and I think it looks good. I think it's a nice low taper. Let me see. See the stubble? Like I would, like I would have liked that to be a little bit more of a flawless blend. And I'm really critiquing, dude, because I zoomed in. But the C cup is nice. The arch is nice, right? So I mean, I think it's a good cut. I think it's a good cut. I would have liked. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe he pushes in some. I feel like the line should be going like this. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Maybe maybe he needs to cut this little piece off. Because that's long hair. So, I don't know. Man, you guys are hard. Fours? Y'all giving the low taper a four? Off in the corner top. Yeah, I believe. I, I agree. But a four. Wow. I'm scared what y'all gonna start giving everybody, man. Isella, I don't know how Isella did it, but she snuck in a couple pictures in here. Um, Isella, I would tell you you need to comb your client's hair. You need to comb comb your hair. That way your 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 guard is feeding. It your guard is allowing the hairs to feed through. Cause you can see like there's little bunches of hair. That's from it not being combed or from it being wet. And the, the hair is not feeding into the, the, the guards, the teeth of the guards. So that's that's what I would tell you. All right, so now we got Jay the barber. What do you think about Jay the barber? Here's my problem with 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 barbers right now. He's from Bakersfield, so I know he's from the from the states. Everybody, everybody in the states is doing these non-blended like disconnected haircuts and the reason why is because we don't like most people most most barbers in the states don't know how to connect this don't know how to make this so the fade is nice the fade is blurry in the states we don't have no problem with with, with blurry fades but i don't give this a nine i'm sorry like this is disconnected and it's disconnected uneven Isella is always on here. I love her, yeah. She's always supporting. She was she was at the class, the look and learn class in Atlanta. Shout out to her. But like I, I'm not feeling this. Like this does not this is not a nine. This is like a, a six. Just because of this this disconnection. And I and and You're a good barber. Your fades are blurry. But when it comes to the top part, man, like we struggle in the states, man. All right, so faded barber. This is actually pretty dope. Like it's not great. The design is, by all means, like this is too too bald for me in this area. This right here is pretty cool. This man's styling is on point. His blow dryer work is on point. You guys can see that blow dryer work. It's an undercut, but overall, I think this is a pretty good cut. So, would you would you guys give this guy? Top level not blended. Yeah, correct, correct. Would you what do you guys think about this one? I think overall it's a good cut. 
Seven, crafty. Okay. All right, so this is the next one. This one is by Adam Antone. Um, I don't like how short you made this. Um, I, I, it looks like the front, you didn't over-direct. It looks shorter than the top, than the apex area. It looks shorter. So what happens is, if there's no sound, what is going on, man? What do you mean there's no sound? There's no sound, guys. It shows me that I have sound. All right, so anyways, um, I feel like it's way too short here in the front. What happens is if you make all the hair one length, right, what's going to happen is towards the apex area, it's going to be shorter than the front area. And then it's going to have this effect, right? I don't like that. The fade is okay. Obviously, you have issues where a lot of barbers have issues um, where the sides will be faded nicely. And then where it's most dense, it looks really dark. And that's not camera work, guys, because you can see it gets dark in this area. It shouldn't be dark in this area. If you want a nice fluid blend, it should have been going throughout this area, right? So... Cool. Somewhat my first taper. So you guys gotta be easy on this guy's this first taper. He also needs to needs to comb the hair. So like in this area right here, for example, if he would have combed it, it would have laid nicer. Um, the hair is growing in this direction. So what I would tell you is, go the opposite. Make sure you're going against the grain. Like this darkness right here. You could have lightened up probably with like a number one guard open and that would have lightened that up and it would have been a much more, you know, con connected blend. So that'd be my advice to you. They give him fours over here. Damn. All right. So what do you guys give this one? So, so for me, like this is a, a very compressed blend and it's not a bad looking compressed blend but I'm not a fan of compressed blends what do you guys think so I literally would have put the one guard in this area and then the one open in this area just to spread it out some more and it would have connected perfectly fine with the top area damn you guys are you guys are violent with the rating system whoa Number four, they're giving fours and twos. Sheesh. All right, so my problem with this with this haircut, obviously, is that the sides are dry, the top is wet, so it's going to look funky no matter what. What I do like is that you left length in the calic area. If you would have styled and blow-dried the hair, I probably could have got this to lay down nicely in the calic area. I probably could have got the front, the, the, the top length to, to look nicer. But the blend isn't bad. Like, I don't see, like, any hard lines. But I don't get, like, this is, this is the thing. Like, there is, there is blending. There's fading, right? There's fade work. There's scissor work, right? But there's also hairstyling work. And there's also the theory behind it all. There's also, like, paying attention to balancing a haircut. To the silhouette of a haircut. He's kind of got the, the structure for the silhouette. But he didn't. He didn't style it. He didn't. He didn't go all the way through. And the blend isn't bad. So, you know, that's just that's my two cents on this haircut. All right, Faye Johnny, this is what I'm talking about. By the silhouette is way off. The silhouette is way off. The blend ain't bad. There's no lines, but the silhouette is so off. Like, do you guys see this? Like the shape of his head right now because of his haircut. Like, he should have some length all through here to make this more of a squared shape, right? Like, his head shape, you have to make sure that his haircut matches his head shape. And I'm sorry, with all this bulk up here, it just makes him look like he has a cone head. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you would have left some length here and gave it more of a squared shape, it would have looked better, in my opinion. 
So, yeah, it went way over the occipital bone. Just looks funny. Not even military. I could give this man a military ball fade. It would be just as high, but it would be just as high. It was. It would be just like this all the way through, and he'd have that square shape. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to do... We got... We got but but the man has talent. His his fade is on point. He he's got no lines. He's just missing the whole the structure, the balance, the silhouette of a haircut. So yeah, and this is what I'm talking about. Some more nabs cuts. The blend ain't bad. The lineup could have been a little bit sharper here in the corner. See how it curves down just a bit. C cup is nice. Um, but this disconnection right here, and it's not even a, sh a even disconnection. And it goes from, from this to length. That's just, like, it's just not balanced. This haircut is not balanced. It doesn't make sense to me, like, why it would be shaved all the way up here. You could have left all this length here, blended it into the sides, and gave it balance. I hope you guys know what I'm, hear what I'm talking about. I, I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. It's something that I teach in my hands-on course, in my look and learn course, like, that's something hard to teach on um, on YouTube, right? On the YouTube videos. It's hard to teach that on the YouTube videos. But, but like, oh, man. All right, next one. All right, now we have uh, Octavian Nez Barber. Neves. 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 Baibero. He looks like he's from Brazil. So th this isn't too bad. The bounce isn't way off because he didn't shave it up too high, but I still would have liked some length here. He's obviously got some some um, color enhancement going on, but the blend is nice. Looks like in this area he might have chopped off too much of that, that calic area. Um, but what do you guys think about this haircut? What would you give this? I still think somebody would be happy with this haircut. Blurry, that's a 10. Golly, I get... That's a 10? Y'all gave that man a 10? The blend is nice. I don't think it's a 10, though. Uh, I'm not giving it a 10. Okay, though, but I respect everybody's opinions. That's dope. All right, so here's the next one, Vaughn Clips. All right, so Vaughn Clips, Um, if you're going to give the man a C cup, get, leave this a little bit darker, blend this in a little bit better. That would have been like, that would have been like if you're using the Masters, the second notch um, from the closed position, the second notch, that would just like right in this space, right? Right in this space would have blended that out. Looks a little bit dark in this area. This could have been connected a little bit better, right? Um, and he's a little bit light here, so let's let's lighten this up a bit. Let's lighten this up a bit, and um, make it look like it's all one length. We're giving the illusion that it's all one length. Um, so that's that's the advice I would give you. Yeah, fours, fives. All right, so. This one probably needs the most help out of all the ones I've seen so far. You gotta comb the hair. You got you gotta comb the hair. You gotta let the the hair lay itself. Like, give it some separation. Get, like, right now you don't have a good canvas to cut. Right now, right. This is light. There's all kinds of like lines and stuff. You really you really have to start from the from the from the. All right, so let me see how I could break this down for you. Number one, it looks like you're putting too many guidelines almost. Like, you got this guideline. It just looks like there's a lot of lines, and it looks like you're all over the place. I would suggest to you try learning how to fade down and then cross-checking by fading up. Um, damn, man. Like, like, this beard isn't blended in. You got hair all over him. Grant's cuts. I don't know, man. I like I like your passion, bro. I really do, but this is repetition. This is this at the end of the day, this is repetition. It looks like your spread is right, 
like he's spreading the blend out right right the spread is there because I'm looking at the lines and the spread is there it's just unorganized it's like it's almost chaotic cutting and you you're not you're not setting yourself up for success by not combing this hair so uh, I hope I, I hope I can help you a little bit with with that advice all right so this isn't bad this ain't a bad cut. What do you guys think about this one? They said E for effort. I like that. Lil G, I like that. E for effort. <laughs> Alright, so you're getting six sevens, eight nines. The top corner is a little off. Um, but I like how you, you got the full hawk lane from it's it, it's obviously short in this area and it's you know, you obviously cut it the right way. I think this is an overall good haircut. Like I don't see lines and stuff. It's not it's not like um it's not picture perfect, but it's it's definitely at least a seven. So good work, man. It's definitely at least a seven. See, this is okay. So this is a well done version of the haircut. This haircut, this one needs more work. It's funny how, like, I did not, I did not set this up, okay. But you see how, like, there's a disconnection here, and there's no disconnection here. It graduates into this length, right? Do you see that? Um. There's bulk in here. There's no bulk in here, right? Like this is this is this is a version that needs a little bit of work. And this is what I'm gonna tell you. Um, in this area is definitely like a number one guard. Maybe open it up some. This area is like the one and a half guard. You just gotta spread it. It looks like you gotta spread it from the zero guard up. So like the half, the one sixteenth, from there up. You need to spread it a little bit more. In the C cup area, get a little bit tighter with with the blade open, and then like bring the blade open all the way here, and then close it. The closer you get to here, that would help like crazy. And then what I would do is literally literally take take um, vertical parts or horizontal parts. I'm sorry, horizontal parts, and use this as your guideline. And this as your guideline and connect it with a whole bunch of horizontal parts and connect it all the way through and you'll have a nice connected faux hawk. Not one that's disconnected like this. So I hope that helps. That's blurry. Nabs cuts. This is the second time you're on here. This is a way better haircut than what you showed before. That's blurry. What do you guys think? That's blurry. He don't have no business having rocking a beard, but the haircut is blurry. Really like it. Really like it. And I and and I love it even more because he he don't have a C cup. But you still, but you still accented the shape of his head. So if he would have brought this blend all the way up here, my man would have looked like he had a cone head. But what he did was he brought it down towards the occipital bone. And, and left it dark in that area so it really accented the, the shape of his head. Now, I probably would have lowered it just a little bit in this area and, and gradually let it get longer here. But bro, you you like this is this is a good cut. This is a good cut. Like I'm I'm not giving it a 10 because I would have lowered it just a bit here so it didn't look like a cone. Like little so check it out. So you see how there's a bunch of length in this area? If he would have brought this down in this area right here my man would have had a squared shape this would be the longest length and then it would come through like a little bit in this area like this and he'd have a squared shape it'd be a perfect cut but he placed the blend exactly where it needed to be so i'm gonna give this one an eight and a half i'm gonna give this one an eight and a half dope cut naps cuts good job way to, way to come back jada barber 
All right, let's talk about this one. So right away, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to spread the zero. You need the zero to the half. You need to spread it out more. That was your biggest issue with this haircut. Spread this out more. Come to one of my classes. Let me teach you how to finish this haircut off. Let me teach you how to lay this calic so that it lays nicely and doesn't start to curl like this. Because he's at a curl length right now. But you can you can set him up to where you thin the hair out, you 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 blow dry the hair, and you train it to to lay the way this guy wants to lay. Because obviously he wants that comb over that that um that side part look, right? So that's what I would tell you about the the finishing on the top, and then right here in this area, that's your your clipper close. Bring it up some more, then open it, bring it up some more, then open it, bring it up some more. By the time you're at a half, it will connect to this area, and this will all stay dark. You'll still be able to give it a nice, clean um, C cup. And I like how you left this occipital bone a little bit dark. So, Dabs, what do you mean? What's, what class? Um, we we bro, we've been we've been touring. We've been going to different cities all over all over the country. Um, we just did Rochester. That was our first one. It was sold out, and uh, it was sick. All right, so this is what I mean. This is what I mean by the barbers in the States, man. Like, this disconnection. This disconnection. I could literally leave the length that he has on top. Get this ball fade to blend in perfectly into the length, into the length without all this bulk here while still keeping length. So that it does lay down nicely towards the occipital bone. Right? Like, it doesn't have to be so disconnected like this. And I feel like the like his hair is so thick, you need to thin his hair. And it's so wavy, you need to thin this man's hair. And it would lay so nicely. So so get educated on that, on, uh, Juan Vita. The blend isn't terrible. You have, a, you have a solid foundation. Like, over time, with reps, your blend is going to perfect itself. But let's get educated on how to connect that blend to the length up top. Okay. Where did I eat in Rochester? I um the the last night that I went to, um, I went to uh the distillery. I think it was called. It was a pretty dope spot. It's in style right now, Basio. It is not in style right now. It is not in style right now. It's it's. It's uh, it's the best that we can do right now. A man bun, an undercut, that's in style, yeah. But that what that look was not is not in style. I'm planning on going to Australia next year, first quarter, first quarter, January, February, March in that area. We're going to Australia. Portland, I don't know, but I'm going to Seattle this year, so that's pretty close by. My man, the James Harden beard. Okay. All right, so um, I like the beard. The beard is nice. This right here could have been cleaned up much nicer. You know, the curvature here is pretty good, the way you did, you connected it. I probably wouldn't have went as low. I probably would have kept the the mustache area and left as my guideline and then probably kept it like in this, up in this area if it's possible. I don't know what, what you started with, but it looks like it's possible, right? I would have kept it a little bit higher. And then I would I would I definitely would have sharpened this up. This needs to be a little bit sharper. Okay. The same thing. It's got to be your trimmers because this hard part right here is not hard enough. Use your razor. Use the razor. Like get this sharper, right? Get it to pop. Get it to stand out. The blend isn't terrible. I would have shaped this up better. So you could you could spray the hair with spritz, blow dry it to get it get it, you know, sticking out there and then shape it because there's there's too many lumps here, right? There's too much going on here. Like, even right here in this area, there's no reason for that. Okay? <laughs> Why don't you use the stagger tool blade on the magic clips? Because it pulls it pulls the scalp. It gets stuck it gets stuck in, in in people's pores. Alright, so what do you guys think about this taper? This is a high taper. I actually like it. Like it's not it's it's actually pretty good. I would have dried the hair, but this is a good haircut. It's a good haircut. Probably would have passed the shaver a little bit higher just to spread it up a little bit more so there's not so much stubble in this area. But it's a, it's a dope taper. 7.8. That's a weird score. 
A seven point eight. <laughs> they got they giving it they giving it eights. Seven point eight eights. Okay. Rest of Barber. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. This this disconnection right here. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Like, we really struggle with this. Like, eight out of ten barbers in the States struggle with this. And honestly, like a four a four and a three would have probably brought this together. You know, sheer of a comb. Even like a, a three with the grain and then a two with the grain would have connected this much better. Would have softened it up. So, I mean, the blend isn't bad. You see, your, your edge game is nice. I don't know if you passed the razor because there's some, there's some shadow here. If you would have passed the razor, it would have been nicer. But you got, we got to get our scissor game up. Focus on that, man. That'll get you to the next level. Nah, that the the sideburns aren't bad. They're not done wrong. Like you just that's a preference thing. Alright, the barber teasy. So teasy. The back taper looks good. The lineup looks good. But this taper right here, you gotta commit to the baldness. Like you gotta bring that ball line up here, bring the shaver underneath, spread that blend out. So you can give the illusion of a lower taper. By keeping this ghost line, right? But bring that ball line up higher in this area. Let's get it to look like a taper and so that it'll last longer. Because this guy's haircut grew out two days later. For sure. So bring that ball line like up here, dude. Like see where it connects to the ear? And see here where it wants to start its ghost line? I would start there and then I would connect it there. Start your blend, but keep this area dark, and you'll still have a lower taper with with way more umph. You see what I'm saying? So, all right, what do you guys think about? All right, so the camera is already, like, the, the camera blurred this area. Like, it blurred this area. I like the top. I like the squared shape. The lineup ain't bad. The hard part is on point. You got a little bit of a line here. That was the zero guard. Zero guard, maybe halfway open, maybe open. Would have taken that out, or the one guard closed would have taken that out. Um, and then there's a little bit of a line here, and that's your blade all the way open. Use the corners, take that out, and that that would have been a fire cut. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This disconnection, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And even if he wanted it this way, the way that you the way that you disconnected it it just don't fit his head it just don't fit his head the undercut does not fit his head you cannot have an undercut and have hair on the side of his head like this like you got to look at the shape of his head where the curvature starts the curvature starts up here you can't have hair underneath the curvature cuz all you're going to do is make it look like it's a bowl cut Right, it's an undercut, so you gotta have it right where the right where the uh, the ridge is, so that this hair can sit on top of his head, and then go. You know what I'm saying? And then what's underneath it will go underneath it. That's why it's an undercut. So, I hope that helps. Isella, I tell you, she snuck up in here. So Isella, this right here, you could have cleaned up probably if you had masters, it would probably be the second or the third notch open. That would have taken that line out right right off the rip. Um that's probably right here, maybe a zero guard. Isella, I I would tell you to try blending down. It looks like you it almost looks like you blend up, but you went to the class. You went to the class. So you gotta see this picture. You gotta see this picture picture, right? Make sure you guys remember Isella. Because I'm gonna look for her newest submissions. I'm gonna see if she improved after going to one of my look and learns. And the look and learns the three hour class, it's not the eight hour class. So most people will take both. They'll take the hands on course. And they'll take the, the look and learn. So essentially, they're with me for 11 hours straight just just cutting, just getting it in, just just intensive, like, bars, right? Um, but she did the three hours. So let's see what happens after the three hours. Let's see if she's improved. So remember this, guys. Matter of fact, I'm going to screenshot this. 
I'm gonna screenshot this. Boom. Isella, you screenshotted. We're gonna remember this cut. And we're gonna go back after we see one of your new cuts. Alright. Romuado. Romuado Rojo. Alright, this is what I'm gonna tell you right now. I see your guideline right here. Boom. Close that blade. I don't know if you need to adjust your clippers. Go up a quarter of an inch. Commit to it. Go up. You're not going to create another line. As long as you're using the bevel of blade, you're not going to create another line. Go up. Commit to it. Take this line out. Right? And here you got a lot of darkness. That's the one guard open and then the one and a half guard and you'll be blended. Straight up. And then when you do this little parting right here, make it straighter. And see right here, all this hair overhanging? Run a two guard or a three guard. Lay that down. Right? And then line it up. So, that's my advice to you. Alright, so this is pretty blurry. What do you guys think? I think it might be a little bit disconnected here. That's probably like your two guard in this area, your two guard. Um, but this is this overall a nice blend. I feel like with the trimmers, you could have blended the beard in a little bit better. And maybe in this area a little bit better. You know, the, the, the C-cup could have been a little bit sharper. Because there's a little bit of hair hanging over I would take the fine tooth comb, right? The fine tooth part of the comb, lay that down, and then place the line. So, that's my advice to you. And this is a, this is a blurry, this is a blurry blend. Maybe you know the top could have been connected better. Again, that's our biggest issue. The top could have been connected better. That's a number three, probably. That's um, yeah, it's a number three, and with half of it on the side. The other half coasting, it would have taken that off, right? But the blend is blurry. The blend is nice. Am I copping the Supreme Clippers? No, I, ain't. I am not a hype beast. Ooh, I can't believe I just said that. Never said that before. I didn't think I would ever say that, but because it's, it's you know, it's starting to, it's starting to affect the barber community. Hype beast is starting to come like I never been a sneakerhead, but now it's really starting to affect the barber community with these supreme clippers, right? So I'm not a hype beast, I'm not copping the supremes, I'm copping these. Matter of fact, when we come out with the 245 ones, y'all better get those, those would be way more limited than the supremes. All right, Jada Barber, he got on here again. My man is winning on your haircuts, my feedback. This is actually a fire cut. I like this haircut. Like, the again, the blow dryer, bro. Before you put product in there, blow dry his hair. And I don't know if you did, but blow dry his hair right. This could have been laying down nice. There should have been no fuzziness, right? It should have been laying down really, really nice. Then you would have added the product, and it would have been on point. But this is a nice haircut. I like how you left. You see this darkness right here? That's length. That's balance. That's nice. Well done. Very nice haircut. Yo, that's the last haircut, guys. That's it. That's it. That's the last haircut. So... What did y'all think? Y'all haircuts my Your haircuts my feedback. Now it's just me and you guys. The McGregor cut, he said. What 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 is what's the sign of bad clippers that you can't zero gap them? Um, they're weak, weak clippers. They're cheap. Love the live. Thank you, Marsha. Appreciate it. How 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 you get a pictures on here, man? Um, you gotta tag me, you gotta follow me on Instagram, and you got to hashtag your haircuts my feedback. That gives me permission. Says uh my fave vids. That's dope. Checked out and meet the check out the, yo, you've been you've been really like spamming, bro. I, like that's not the best way to build your channel, I promise. 
Green, green Dot Legend shirts. Great idea. We need them. You're right. You're absolutely right. They should have been done. Can you do a live cast of you rating your our live cast? What is that? Best beginner shears, 245. Tips on money management. Oh man, please. That's my favorite subject. Don't don't please don't let me go in on that. The gram is Basio Cuss. Just search Chris Basio. It'll pop up. Um we you need to go back to Wichita and show them how to how to cut. <laughs> Just started a new job. It's going. It's going too slow. Can't. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, can't see. Hold on. Um. What can I do to get more people in the shop? Um. You can go outside and hold a sign that says barbershop on the side of the road. That says barbershop. What you gotta understand is, yeah, maybe the first day they won't go to you, but that's a residual effect. Most people that see you with that sign won't come into the next day, or later on in the day when they get off of work. So, um, is there a sheer portion during the look and learn? How long would you say it lasts? It all depends. So, like, the last look and learn that we did in Atlanta and in Rochester, we did one haircut with shears or with scissors, and we did one haircut with just clippers. So, we did two different textures of hair. We did straight hair. We did tight, curly hair, and I broke it down to a science, man. I, really, I think I did. Let's talk about your diet, bro. Bro, the yo the the gains is coming in. Like the diet's been on point. It's been on point. When the Apple app going live, man, we gotta talk to Apple. Apple has been tripping. Boston, do I battle? I do not battle. I don't have time to prepare and train and 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 get ready for bar battles and travel for battles. You know that's a different vertical that that I don't want to even be a part of. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. There's literally barbers who've created their entire career off of it. What do you mean make a video on how to cut black hair? Like, all my videos are super diverse. I do tutorials on every texture of hair. You need to subscribe and you need to hit notifications. What am I doing another look and learn in Tampa? October 8th. It's in two weeks. So the the hands-on course only has one spot left. The look and learn, you gotta book it. Get your whole shop to book it. It's gonna be it's gonna be fire, hot lava. Your boy signed up for hands-on. Aaron, shout out to you, bro. It's going down, bro. It's going down. As a matter of fact, check this is what I'm gonna do. Check this out. Watch what I'm gonna do. Hold on. I want you guys to watch this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If you guys don't mind, I want you guys to watch this. It would mean the world to me. I want you guys to see. Like, literally, we did the hands-on course in Rochester. And people are, are leaving Rochester hands-on course and booking another one in another city. That's how much value they got out of this. Like... And that that's when you know you did something right, right? That's that's when you know that you gave value. So hold on. I want you guys to, to check this out. Come on. My internet is, is tripping. So I use Google Drive. I don't know what you guys use, but most of my stuff is on Google Drive. Come on. Said, what's good? Awesome stream, by the way. Thank you so much. Did you see my clippers from B. Clark, though? Sheesh. I did not see them, bro. I didn't see them, but I saw the video. I saw the video. I didn't get a chance to click on it. I'm going to click on it, though. I'm going to check it out. B. Clark owes me. So I asked that man for a Toon 45 edition clipper. Probably it's been since CT Barber Expo last year. Or this year, CT Barber Expo. That's when I asked them for them. And I still ain't got them things, man. So, like, I don't even freak with the guy no more, man. I haven't talked to him since. He been too busy making Jeezy Clippers. But I don't blame him. I don't blame him. <laughs> you and Joss and Monica killing the game. Appreciate you, man. Yo, did you guys see the Russia video? Did y'all see that Russia video? On my Instagram. 
If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's on my Instagram. It really, it really shows how big that show was. Like, it was sick. It was sick. You gotta be three sixty, bro. Nah, it's not true, cause, cause there's other, there's other, there's other uh, peoples. He's been showing love to. He's been showing some love to other peoples. That, come on. I'm not. I'm. I'm I try to be as humble as I possibly can, but, but man. But man, there's no way you're telling me these people showing you more love than I am. But it's all good. I ain't worried about it. I gotta have waves, bro. I got I got texture. I got texture. Texture is texture is the new waves. Jeezy. Texture is the new waves, bro. It's a new wave. <laughs> Let's get back to the hair answers. Deep tooth on those liners and zero gap magics. Yeah, I mean, I like both. I like deep tooth and, and the regulars. All right, come on. Why is my internet so slow right now? But this live stream is is like is is rolling. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Freak it. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Let's do this. All right, ready? Let me see. Let me see. Do you like Jeezy's Clippers? I haven't seen them. Keep your hat on. <laughs> Hold on. Do you know where the clap where the clips I should Dre, this is this is what I get asked all the time. So Dre has been managing the tour. He's been setting everything up. People keep asking me for these venues like San Francisco. We gotta we gotta tell people where it's at. All right, hold on. I'm gonna show you how this. Cause these testimonials mean the world. Dre, this is this is what I get asked all the time. So Dre has Whoa. Been... So I just got back from the Rochester Chris Basio uh, hands on and look and learn course and the experience is something I'll never forget. I learned so much in such a short amount of time and he did not waste any second. Literally, he made sure everybody was on point the entire time and knew what he was talking about. And if, and if somebody was confused, he would break it down even more. Um, the Look and Learn course was great because he actually used me as a model and got to cut my hair. As you can see, it's literally the blurriest fade I've ever had. And uh, he was just a down-to-earth guy, man. And, like, you could really talk to him about anything, not just in haircutting, but in life in general. And I think I think anybody who's even questioning on whether they should cut hair or not should go to this course. I learned so much, and I don't even have that much experience. But now, because of him, I feel com really comfortable behind a chair. So I got to thank him and, you know, his buddy Dre and the Tomb 45 squad just for putting that together. So I appreciate it. That's dope, man. Like that's that's dope. That makes it all worth it. The taper blade for the great the great seniors. The fourth Ken is in the building. That's that's super love, man. Like super love. October twenty second, hair showing up possible. Come through. I can't. I I'm I'm already booked up. ZZ clowning, Jeezy, 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 my God, Jeezy. That was dope, right? Like, I'm, I'm sure, like, I'm sure, like, like, yo, Jeezy, San Francisco is crazy right now. Like, they're booking the hell out of that class. You got to come to the look and learn. You got to come, bro. At least the look and learn. If not, come to the hands-on course and, and mess with us, bro. Like, San Francisco is 
probably our most booked class out of all the cities we're going to right now. You got to come out, bro. That's the vibe. You inspired me to start cutting hair. I got, hey, I appreciate it. Bro, I'm coming. Ooh. San Francisco's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Boy, I appreciate you, bro. Man, GZ has always been super supportive, man. I, I got to I gotta appreciate it. When I have, when I have barely no subscribers, this man reached out to me. And y'all don't know this, but he reached out to me and just, and showed love, man. And he's a big reason why my channel's successful, man. I'll give you a dollar if you show up, GZ. There you go. If E. Jones, 3C, GZ, and Chris Bosh could collab, that's like having Jordan, LeBron, and Kobe in the same room. <laughs> Are you coming to Canada? Yeah, we're going to go to Toronto um, probably first quarter next year. You put cut there, man. Real testimony to work. You put out there, man. Thank you. Most definitely. Look and learn was so helpful. Highly recommended for barbers. Thank you, Sella. Wish I could go to Cosmo School now. Need my need to get my hours. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yo, let me, let me show you guys one more video, man. This video had me... Had me like hype. See if I can find it. Like dumb hype. Like I was just like, I made it, Mama. I made it. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can find it. No, nope, that's not it. What you know about that? Your channel successful because of your hard work, not me, bro. No, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Like, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. I didn't know that you had a, so I'm not afraid of hard work. Don't get me wrong. I work hard. I bust my ass. I was successful before YouTube. We were like, my, my clientele was crazy. We was opening up barbershops left and right. Like behind it, like people that it wasn't, it wasn't announced to the world, but I was successful before YouTube. Now, Jeezy set the standard. And it was a standard that 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 kept me on my toes because this man was dropping videos every single day. He showed me that you had to drop content. That you couldn't do what a lot of these bar YouTube barbers are doing, dropping one video a month. So because of because of that alone, it showed me, y'all, I gotta drop content. I like I, I'm not afraid to work hard. But but like dude, you've you've broken a lot of barriers when it comes to YouTube barbering. And you've set the example, you've set the standard, and I gotta give you credit. Like even even if you if you never have hit had hit me up, you still get a lot of credit because you've set the standard. You are the only example out there. There's nobody else there's nobody else getting seven hundred, eight hundred thousand subscribers in the YouTube in the barber game. It's just not happening. And you showed us what it takes to get there. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now, I gotta give you credit. Like you get you get a lot, you get a lot of credit. And a lot of YouTube barbers, they'll act like they don't even know who this man is. It's whack. It's like it, that's whack to me. Like I'm humble enough to say, yeah, I came up watching Cake and this Randy, watching Alice Millions, watching Victor Barber. I don't need to act like like like, I, I came up living under a rock and I just started a YouTube channel. No, it's not the case at all. Now, I am being myself when I do my channels, but, I, you know. Yeah, credit to Fonz, but at the same time, I don't want you guys to get it twisted. Last week, I dropped eight videos. Last week, I dropped eight videos. I edited six of them. I edited six of them. So yeah, Fonz helps me out a lot. And that's my man's and he and he and he did it organically. I didn't have to ask him to come help me. And without him, I wouldn't have somebody recording me when we go out out the country. But I don't want you guys to get it twisted either. I put in work behind this channel. And I didn't have Fonz for the first two years of building this channel. You feel me? So 
I don't want you guys to think that the reason why I'm I'm successful in, in YouTube or, or whatever is because I got is just because I got help. It's because I could afford to get help. That's not the case at all. That's not the case at all. Like that's not an excuse for like there's some people that are literally like yo I don't start my YouTube channel because I I don't, I don't got like you, like you Chris I can't afford to have funds. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. No. I'm trying to find this video, man. I want you guys to see this, man. This is like... This is like... Oh, I didn't know that. I know a lot of people don't know that. Nathan, what's going on, man? All right, so I want you guys to watch this. If you haven't watched it, check this out. Ah, you can't see it. I'm going to start over. I'm going to start over so you guys can see it. The Maybach? In the temp? No excuses? That was, the, that was the founder of, of this company. Look at that, yo. Look at that crowd. Your man was on that stage. Who would have thought three years ago, yo? Look at this, yo. In Russia, kid. Bruh. Who would have thought? Your boy started the channel three years ago. Who would have thought your boy be in Moscow on the stage like that? Like, come on, yo, that's that. I'm I'm dumb hype. Like I'm dumb hype about it. Dumb hype about it. You can check it out on on my Instagram page. But like, I can't stop showing it off. Like, I'm not gonna act like I, I I'm not gonna act like I've been there. I'm not gonna act like I'm not super hype about it. I am. I'm super hype about it. I can't. I can't put it into words, yo. So that show is gonna be again. Um, it's gonna happen again next year, July twenty first. So if you want to go Moscow, get your visa, start working on that now. July twenty first, we out there. So, Jeezy, you were supposed to be out there. They was asking about you. I promise you, they was asking about you. Because, yo, there was literally people, Jeezy, there was literally people saying, yo, the only reason why I came here was because I heard you was going to be here. They didn't know who any of the other barbers were. And then they're like, um, they're like, who else should we watch? Because I don't know any of these barbers. So I tell them, yeah, all these barbers are good, whatever, check them out. They got talent. And they're like, yeah, but where's 360 Jeezy? <laughs> In Russia, kid. So cool, man. Am I really selling my tutorials for 99 cents now? If that's the way you want to put it, bro, then put it like that. I don't really care. Like, put it like that. Put it however you want to. LeBron, please, bro. Stop the hate, man. Stop it. Y'all watch the vids on cutting, and I'm from Philly, bro. Your style is lit. Appreciate it, E-Money. Do I need to retag my picks to get rated since my cousin didn't get picked this time? How do you how do you know that those pictures didn't get submitted before yours? Yo, boss, I sent you an email with a cut. I have my bro bro, don't email me. You gotta do it on IG. I'm not I'm not doing no email stuff. How you on a fake page trying to trying to come at someone? <laughs> Next flight to Russia. No hate. Yo, I cut hair in Philly. You teach me a lot, bro. Thank you. Do your thing. Thanks, Philip. 
Dope vid, good cuz. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh oh, wifey's coming. Mm. She closed the door. I might be in trouble. I might I might have to make up for him. Triple G won that fight, easy money. He won that fight. Those tutorials are gold. Nine ninety nine cents is nothing. We got the freshest cuts. <laughs> Who got the freshest cut in the NBA? The freshest cut in the NBA. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. I don't think I followed the NBA enough to be able to, to say who the who got the freshest cut. Um, Yo, but you know who I saw the other day that had a fresh high taper? My boy Lonzo Ball had a fresh high taper. I don't know who's cutting his hair, but he gave him a freshie. Jeezy, you should have been cutting his hair, bro. Triple G won that fight Like Come on I ain't the only one saying it He was the aggressor He landed 100 more punches Like Come on 118 went That's an obvious robbery Seen the 360 song Song Everyone tell him Nah Not doing it I'm not doing it 360 360 360 Jesus 99 cent times 250,000, me and my wife do. Wait. I don't understand what you're saying. I suck it. <laughs> Paul George does. Have you ever cut a famous person? I don't, I don't, I don't, no, I haven't. I haven't. I don't need to. I'm good. That's not my vertical. That's not my lane. Wasn't trying to be a dick or nothing, my brother. Just asking the question. I respect your grind. I don't even remember the question, bro. Yes, Lonzo Ball, you're right. For real. <laughs> so my my so the questions are super delayed because if I don't do it that, that way, it'll be super laggy. YouTube is just not up on game right now. It's not like Instagram. Well, good luck with the work, fam. Appreciate you. Basho, give us Bodak Yellow Freestyle right quick. <laughs> what? Stop it. Do y'all play video games or so? I, I tried to get Jeezy on 2K. He didn't want to do it. Yo, everyone here better be on Barber. Be a Barber. Real talk. Why? That's how I feel. I don't, I don't want to be the guy that cut the famous person. Me either. Like... No hate, no hate. But like I feel like there's too many barbers that 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 base their success based on who they cut. And I just feel like, yo, I was just on stage. I was just on stage with literally the biggest rapper in Russia. I was on the same stage as the biggest rapper on Russia. Too many times the barber is behind the stage cutting that man. Too many times the barber is behind the stage cutting that man and acting like he already won. I just feel like, man, if that is your, if that is your idea of success, man, I'm good. Like, that's not my idea of success. I feel like as a barber, I had the same opportunities to be, to be right up there with him, to be real with you. And that's real. Luke, you, yeah, bro, you late. You an hour late, bro. We, we, we chopping it up now. We did the ratings. We rated thirty haircuts, thirty haircuts, and now we chopping it up. So, center stage now. Boxing is all about making money. Boxing need to take judges out. By <laughs> we just out here talking, Luke. All loving these comments. We need to make a Hollywood movie on hardcore barbering. Starring all the YouTube barbers. 3CC is doing this thing, but you're doing yours. But both got different styles. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's all love. You should get custom clippers like 3CC Jeezy. I, I got custom clippers. I don't get love like Jeezy, though. <laughs> 
What percent do you pay yourself? What do you mean what percent do I pay myself? What kind of hat is that? Nathan, you don't know what kind of hat this is, bro? Bro. Bro, this is this is this is the ultimate hat, bro. This is like this is exclusive. So you know Supreme, the brand Supreme, like this is exclusive right here. This is this is 245, bruh. Uh. Uh. Hey, we need to do the, the live on Facebook. Next time you go live on Facebook, just shoot me a text. Jeezy, it's a bet then. It's a bet, for sure. So, check it out. If you're not following the Facebook group, Tune 45 Barbers, make sure you do so. Because Jeezy and I are planning on doing a collaboration live stream. So, if you don't know, with Facebook, I can invite somebody to my live stream. And literally, his he'll pop up right here next to me. Right here next to me. And we'll be able to do a live stream together. And then the questions, the... Um, the the your questions will still pop up right here and we'll be able to literally you guys will be able to interview us you guys will be able to interview us live and direct so if you're interested in that make sure you go follow the facebook group tomb 45 barbers i'm looking forward to that it's i'll let you know when i'm ready oh i'll make sure you're ready too i know you're busy as hell too bro Um, 245 make products for women. Not yet, but but check it out. There's a vertical for that. So my wife is a hairstylist. She she just started probably a few months ago, and she's she, you know she, she's growing. She's growing real quick. Like she's super passionate. She reminds me of me when I started my barbering career, and we're planning we're planning on doing some big things with that. Um, so 245 for women could could be coming. Maybe a spinoff of 245. We'll see. Well, your answer about Los Angeles, we'll be in L.A. in January. Dual magnetic guards. Kevin, you got the right setup. 245 Barbers Facebook. That's right. When did you start cutting, how how, how long you been doing it? I've been, um, J January will be eight years. The face tutorials have helped me. Uh, thank you. You should do a live barber tutorial exclusive. Okay. Inspired by your awesome hard skill work, man. Your attention to detail on your cuts is crazy. Thank you. Is she still in school, Mr. Nah, she um she's in the salon. She's been in the salon. She's a level one hairstylist. She's she's doing her thing. Is there a payment plan for your class? There's not. There's not. Um, but honestly, my I'm I'm literally I'm literally going to, there's so many people who want these classes. So even so check this out. So check this out. I'll do the hands-on course. I did the hands-on course in Rochester. And it was it was sold out. Two of the people in that class are like, yo, I'm booking the next one. I'm coming. But those cities were sold out already too. So they're coming to the DC one. They booked those, right? The DC class. I go and do the look and learn. And a lady who owns a salon, she wants to book me for her salon exclusively. So I'm going to go there and do a hands-on course. This is going to happen every time I do one of these events. And it's going to snowball. And it's going to get to the point where I'm going to be doing this every single day for five days a week. And I'm excited for it because this is what I love. Like, this is my passion. And I got the whole world in my hand. It's not just the United States. I remember I started this internationally. Like I got the whole world in my hands. I'm so excited about it. Like it's gonna be dope. And and I gotta tell you, man, like this vertical right here is is dope. So die legend, for real. You wouldn't say three sixty the best, he's talented though. Listen, I wouldn't say anybody's the best. No one is the best. Your favorite barber, I could point out some 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 faults. You could point out some faults on me. You know, that's that it doesn't matter. We're still all booked. We're still all making money. At the end of the day, what it ends up being is work ethic. You know. Who's got the most work ethic? Right? That at the end of the day, that's what it is. 
So we all talented, but you know what? What engine do we have in the in the in? You know what I'm saying? What engine do we have under the hood? What's pushing this talent? Who do I send my clients to when when I'm gone? I give them free reign. They know all the barbers in my shop, and you know, a lot of them book Nate. A lot of them book JP. Cost effective bosser, yeah. I'm the best. What you mean? Good for you. So while you travel, your usual customers, your regulars, do they go on? Yeah, they go to the other barbers in the shop. But they know, I tell them, like, they already, like, my schedule's already set. And my schedule's crazy. I, I I leave, I leave Saturday night, we fly out. Sunday morning, we do the class. Um, Sunday night, we do another class. We fly out either that night or the next morning or, like, late or, like, really early morning. And then we do it all over again the next day in a different city. Thanks, E-Money. Bar barbershop owner offers me booth at his shop. I don't have my license yet. Should I, should I take it, sir? Oh, that's rough. That's rough. Part-time, maybe. But you got to go to school, bro. You got to get your license. You you got to, bro. Like, you, you only putting a cylinder over your head if you don't get your license. What is it? What is it like? I don't know. I don't know why they that those comments even come up. Um, I do both, but um, I'm appointment two weeks in advance, one week in advance by demand, by demand, not not by choice. The best razor gel. I don't know. You gotta try them all. Try them all, and and you know you you choose. I know you know basketball. Please educate everyone on why Kyrie is better than LeBron. Please. You can't believe that. <laughs> you ever thought about doing a vlog, Chris Basio? Bro, like... Come on. I do vlogs. I got the vlogs. The vlogs are on the channel. Go check out the vlogs. My parents laugh when I say I want to be a barber and you inspire me to keep cutting flames. That's a like I get excited about that. When people say that that they got laughed at for it, man. I love it. I love it. You know what I like to do? So um when I meet people and they ask me they they ask me what I do, I don't tell them I do YouTube. I don't tell them my own barber shops. I don't tell them my own product line. I don't tell them nothing. I tell them I'm a barber. That's what I tell them every time. I don't even care what the, I don't care about their opinion. I rather I rather say that and see and see what their reaction is. He does a lot. What you mean? Go watch them. I'm a male Cosmo student in my school. Any quick tips? Nah, like, learn fading last. Focus on what you're learning right now, Cosmo. Learn fading last. Walmart and Slimline Pros. That's why I've been using eMoney. Favorite cuts to do? Drop fades or, or contoured fades or... And any bald fade, and I really like to just look at my client and customize the cut to them. Why do I think barbers get such a bad reputation? I talked about that. It's, it's lack of education. Most barbers, most barbers are not education, educated. Most barbers have no vision. Most barbers cut hair in the shop in some slides, looking real stupid. I'm not flexing. I'll flex right now, though. Ooh. Been working. That's flexing. This was just this was just me rubbing my head. This is flexing. Feel me? Alright, but guys, that's it. I'm done. You're the most humble. 
Hey, I appreciate Flames. Yo, I'm out of here, guys. I gotta go spend some time with the wife. I love you guys with a passion, man. Like, you guys give me purpose. You, my family. You you guys are my family. Straight up. Um. So, so thank you. Thank you guys so much, man, for all the support and stuff. And uh, let's keep growing. Let's keep growing. Let's go. Y'all take care. Grant, I got one.